So my research is about programming methodologies for massively parallel architectures and uh, Adaptiva is one of the candidate architecture in that field. And that's why I'm interested in uh, exploiting uh, parallelism out of these uh, architectures. So here we have uh, Adaptiva's Epiphany uh, core, which consists of uh, 16 individual processing cores. Uh, and then it is uh, connected with this uh, uh, development board from Altera, which communicates uh, then to the host processor. So it consists of uh, 16 cores, uh, and then each core has uh, 32 kilobytes of uh, internal memory with it, and there is also 32 megabytes uh, SDRAM on that board. Uh, you program each individual core in uh, NCC, um, and then you compile it uh, using the Eclipse ID environment that they have provided and then uh, it generates a configuration that is then downloaded to the chip and then it executes the program code. So right now we are using uh, a synthetic, uh, synthetic aperture radar systems application uh, which is actually um, used in order to generate high resolution maps uh, from low resolution data. And the principle is that uh, you collect uh, pulse data from uh, the ground objects, and then you integrate those uh, that pulse data along the way, along these curved paths that you get uh, to uh, get the high resolution image. So th here, uh, this is an illustration of the synthetic, uh, synthetic aperture radar system data collection. So usually the flight goes along a linear path and then it sends pulses along the uh, direction and then it gets uh, the received pulses data along these curved paths. And the idea is that you integrate along these curved paths to draw uh, high resolution maps from the image data. Uh, but in reality, these, uh, the flight path is not linear. So you get uh, different deviations in the uh, images that you get at the same angle. So, and then in order to uh, correct this foc defocusing in the images, you do this autofocus criterion calculation where you match the individual pixels from the two images according to the focus criterion uh, to get the maximum uh, uh, autofocus uh, criterion. And based on that criterion, then you refocus uh, the image again to get the correct image. So what is done here is that we have uh, mapped this autofocus criterion calculation over the Epiphany architecture by using uh, 13 cores out of uh, the 16 cores. And uh, the first block here is actually uh, corresponds to the uh, uh, autofocus criterion for the first image. And then the bottom here block is for the second image. And then this center block is actually computing the uh, summation for the correlation. And then finally, it gives sends back the results to the off-chip uh, SDRAM. So and in the implementation results, you, uh, we are comparing the Epiphany architect architecture results running on and 1 gigahertz clock with the AMD processor, which is running at 1.6 gigahertz clock. And in terms of execution si uh, time, we you, uh, took three seconds to compute an, uh, a particular image size, whereas the AM AMD is using 34 seconds to compute the same image size. The Epiphany architecture is running uh, the same uh, ex um, algorithm almost 10 times faster than the AMD version, even then uh, the AMD version is running at 1.6 gigahertz faster clock as compared to the Epiphany architect. So here we have a sequential version of the program uh, of the same algorithm executing on the single core AMD and then the parallel version uh, running on the Epiphany architecture. So let me start it. Yeah, so here uh, it shows that uh, the complete algorithm
takes uh, 34,000 milliseconds to execute this. Whereas here, uh, it shows the individual time for each of the core, which is around 3,300 uh, th milliseconds. And then the time for the complete application is actually the maximum of uh, any one of these times. Yes, that's one of the difficult thing that has been experienced uh, over the last 10 years, that we have uh, this growing number of cores, uh, but uh, we don't know how to efficiently program them. 